Hi friends, uh, this is another Twin Flame journey video and uh, in this video I would doc like to document uh, all my dreams, signs and synchronicities that I found on my journey and I think this uh, um, video will be really helpful for uh, all of you um, to uh, actually get validation that these dreams, these signs, these synchronicities they happen with all of the twins on their journey and you should not be fearful or afraid of them and you should trust your intuition and these are part of your intuition and the messages that are being sent by the universe so that you stay on your path you know the twin flame journey as we all know is a very courageous path to follow so uh, these dream signs synchronicities are a way to give us support in a way, you know, uh, uh, as I would uh, uh, want to put it. Uh, initially, I used to be very uh, surprised when I used to get these dreams and uh, signs and stuff. And uh, I didn't have as much faith because we are all like healthy skeptics, you know. Um, so when, uh, when I started uh, kind of standing still you know and started coming into the illumination phase and uh, I realized that the dream science synchronicities were still there so I deliberately did that to find out if the signs and synchronicities are only there when I am going through a 3d uh, more of a 3d phase where I'm still you know stuck in 3d patterns so that the universe wants to put me in the path but those dream signs and chronicity stay with you all along the path even up till the end stages you know because uh, it's a way of the universe providing us with support which is a very valuable gift that we are being given so uh, i used to get dreams signs synchronicities all three of them almost every week almost every alternate day first of all i would like to tell you the frequency and uh, this is uh, uh, it's been over 2.5 years now uh, so uh, uh, they were they were present uh, all this time you know um, very uh, the frequency was very like i would say uh, they were very frequent and uh, i would go over the main dreams first then probably the signs and then other synchronicities and angel messages uh, so my bigger dreams uh, which came to me uh, were uh, first of all i had uh, in whatever previous associations i had been with i had never dreamt about a person first of all it was it was not a uh, uh, I had dreamt about another person before, but uh, again, that was a very, very strong connection, you know, and I had never dreamt about uh, uh, more people before that. So, um, and uh, with my twin flame journey, the dreams were rampant. They were rampant. So the first dream that I had was that my, my twin went with me to my country and uh, we had some like, because he had gone there and like he was my partner my family or my aunt she organized a small like festival kind of a thing and we both went there and we were sitting on the chairs it it looked like a rural setting although none of my relatives live in a rural setting we are all in urban cities and stuff but it seemed in the dream it was a rural setting maybe uh, it was a reminder of more simpler times you know it was just a metaphor so he was there with me and as soon as some people came and started asking me who he is and everything he just shied away and he ran behind the um behind the tents uh which were put up for the people to sit in you know uh, like canopy kind of a thing so he ran behind and then he um uh, there was also this incident uh, incident where like there was a vein coming out of my arm like it was more prominent and he was looking at that and he was asking me you know do you think this will heal or something and i was like giving him an eye you know because we both belong to a certain profession and i was like you should know whether this will heal or not you know and this was my i think one of the first dreams i might be even forgetting some you know because it's been like some time and then the second dream which came was that we were in some sub-saharan um uh area for a vacation you know and it was all desert or something it might be like dubai or maybe egypt or something there was desert we were in the desert and we were enjoying ourselves and his my twin's brother was with us too you know and me and his brother have a more like a jovial side and um, i guess like we are more like um 
I guess because we are water signs, we are more in like, you know, tune with the moon and everything. So I was having a very nice time with his uh, brother and he was getting a bit jealous also. And then we, we just ventured, me and his brother ventured somewhere like into the cave or something or in, um, in a different part of the desert and he lost us, you know, and he was so angry. He frantically was looking for us, was searching for us. And when we, uh, when he found us, uh, he scolded us like two small kids and you know we were giggling and uh, that he's scolding us he's acting like a daddy you know uh, so my twin has that daddy energy you know so it was it, that again was a very wonderful dream um, then uh, um, I had like multiple dreams where I used to be uh, cooking at, at his kitchen counter and he was there like uh, after a day's work came back home and was looking for dinner you know and I was preparing dinner sometimes I used to be in a bad mood too because I was I, I found myself cooking all the time in my dreams you know and I was talking to my friend like you know I never have this dream where he takes me to the beach or he takes me for a yacht vacation, vacation or takes me to a cruise all I see is that I'm behind that white slab cooking and he's standing in front of the slab always like looking for food but it was so cute you know it was so cute I, I used to mock uh, with my friends that uh, you know uh, this is how we are like every evening is going to go like this but um, uh, my twin spends a lot of time home because uh, home after work you know because he's always he's mostly tired after work and then he also has a very intensive profession where he needs to uh, think very intricately so he tries to spend a lot of time uh, in front of the computer or thinking about creative ideas when he comes home so uh, also he doesn't like to waste his time um, just going out for the sake of it you know he likes to plan uh, bigger vacations and stuff like that but um, and uh, he's a very caring uh, uh, person but he doesn't so most of my dreams used to be me cooking behind that white slab you know um, uh, uh, I had a lot of those dreams, you know, and then I had a lot of dreams where um, he would just come to me and ask me like just uh, uh, just small talk like, you know, uh, how is it going or how's your day or something like that. And in 3D, I always used to be irritated that he doesn't ask me all that stuff uh, where... Uh, uh, you know, you ask a person, a, like, small talk, how are you, how's your day going, do you have any problems or whatever, so he never used to do that, seldom used to do that in 3D, you know, I complained also once, I should not have, because complaining is not a very effective tool, you know, uh, but in my dreams, uh, I also I always found him to, you know, ask me all this um, uh, stuff, and then uh, there were also periods where we also went through a 5D separation uh, along with a 3D one. There used to be times when I could not telepathically connect to him. And I also realized the more I was standing still, the more he used to telepathically contact uh, me. Most of the times on my twin journey, it was my twin who telepathically used to contact me rather than the other way around. He used to take the initiative. And there were so many instances where I had uh, um, intimate dreams with him too, you know. And at one one point like I was uh, in a standstill phase in my twin journey a total standstill phase or a surrender um, and I was asking the universe that you know um, oh, what is going on I don't understand and I was uh, also a karmic partner was introduced into my life and um, I didn't didn't show much interest in uh, uh, that person um, but then suddenly one day when I came back from my friend's place to my own place and uh, after like 15-20 days and I was spending the first night at my own place, I had this big dream where uh, there was a lot of uh, astral sex involved, like multiple times and I was amused. And at the same time, I was surprised. I could not understand what's going on, you know, because I had experienced that before, but not multiple times, you know. I had experienced that a lot many times before, so it wasn't a big surprise for me. But what was big was the multiple times, and he just wouldn't stop. So I just asked the angel. That was my dream, you know. That was the big dream that I'm talking about. Uh, and I asked the angels uh, the next day to give me guidance. And uh, what I found out the next day was, like, I had... There was a wedding song playing when I woke up, you know, there was clear audience, you know, so I automatically understood the meaning that the spiritual merge was so close and uh, this is how he was showing it to me, you know, uh, it was his way of showing because even in, 
even in 3D uh, he was uh, uh, he, he was very expressive through that route you know um, so this was one of the bigger dreams and then I used to get a lot of number messages I used to see 11 11 2 222 all the time all the time it became so rampant rampant that I was like oh my god I don't like you know please please give me a break you know uh, the numbers were there all along and then anytime that I found myself to be stuck you know my energy to be stuck thinking about something that I could not understand regarding my twins behavior in 5d I always used to ask the angels and believe me the guidance that I used to get the next morning or the next day or whatever you know I used to ask the angels and I just used to forget you know because I used to get so absorbed in my own routine uh, I used to forget and then I used to get the answer in such a pleasant surprising miraculous way I cannot tell you so please guys you know uh, I know all of the twins are getting dreams and uh, synchronicity signs please um, ask your angels your angels are always there but they will only help you once you ask them so every night when I used to go to sleep if there was something on my mind that I needed help with I asked my angels I asked my angels profusely you know they were my best friends during this journey nobody else was like I told you before my family is not in this country I have few friends I'm on my own um, I was uh, dealing with a lot of 3d issues in my own life you know um, but angels were always with me the universe was always with me I was a universal follower uh, even before I started my twin journey a lot I spent a lot many years in uh, studying the universal law so I knew the universe was all along with me but the angels were new to me but uh, on my twin flame journey the angels were rampant so and then uh, these were the dreams and the uh, number synchronicities and the angel messages and then uh, another thing I want to document is my clear audience was very strong during the whole twin flame journey uh, particularly in the form of songs you know music uh, my messages my messages every morning uh, almost every morning alternate morning weekly used to come through a lot of songs you know and because I'm from a certain country the songs used to be in my own uh, ethnic you know uh, um, uh, tone I would say so uh, uh, the universe provided something in my own this thing I wasn't list uh, I wasn't getting clear audience uh, from songs which belong to some other you know uh, yonder or country because I might not be able to you know decipher properly the meaning so the songs clear audience the songs were very prominent source messages were very prominent angel messages were very prominent and also when I used to go for a walk somewhere I used to find different signs like you know I used to find a leaf split into two or a leaf of two different colors you know signifying twins you know I used to find a lot of signs and then uh, when a karmic partner was involved I started three seeing um, leaves which had like three you know those three pattern leaves and stuff like that and then um, I used to find a lot of these signs uh, tools you know uh, something in tools like two berries on the floor or two pennies on the floor um, and a lot of these kind of signs also I saw um, uh, like uh, during the illumination phase uh, uh, recently I saw like the three leaves with three go I, uh, I was walking on a path and there was a leaf which was uh, in three you know and then uh, as I walked forward I got a leave in two you know and I I had this idea through my own readings and my uh, uh, oracle that I do that you know three is going to become two soon and I, even in my general reading as I've put this time for this current week deception is uh, going to take place you know so um, I got a lot of these nature signs you know where the nature was um, helping me you know uh, I have documented all those things in in my journal and I would make another video for uh, just the uh, nature signs that I got and I, got, I used to get a lot of uh, signs from the clouds uh, clouds used to be a certain shape uh, or size or figurines you know as was going on between me and my twin um, so during my my separation phase which is the phase we are going through a dark night of the soul and we need more um, help you know uh, I got a lot of help from the clouds from leaves uh, from nature sources 
and these are just a few that i'm documenting you know there were numerous as i told you uh, in my twin journey these things were rampant rampant